when we first started this, it was just, and my idea was just taking kids to college and just showing them what it was like. And I was just happy about that. I was like, oh my, we're going to go to college. I went to Cedric and I approached him with it. And Cedric told me, you know, uh, that, you know, that's a great idea. It really resonated with him. And so he said, I know somebody at UNF. Uh, his name is Dr. Tom Sawatka. Let me give him a call and see what we can do. Uh, Dr. Tom Sawatka ended up, uh, you know, really loving the idea. Said, yeah, that's great. I can go ahead and set something up. So next thing you know, we're talking to, so we're talking to their events planner uh, who does tours. Um, she sets us up and says, you know, let's let's have a meeting. Let's get together. Let's plan this whole thing out. She basically takes it on her back and just plans the whole event. We ask, um, you know, Maxine to pull as many kids as she can that are, you know, between eighth grade and twelfth grade. And then we also reach out to aftercare <clears throat> and get several students from there. And so we end up with about, what would you say, like Maybe 18, 20? 18 or so. So we end up with about 18 or 20 uh, students um, going on the first tour. The kids absolutely love it. They're, they're ecstatic. Um, one of the things that they, uh, they really talked about was they didn't realize what college is like. So one of the, one of the main issues that they, they were afraid of was that they didn't think they could afford it. They thought they were, you know, they were too poor to go to school. They weren't smart enough to go to university. Um, so they had all these barriers in their heads. And before we actually went, we did a little uh, orientation, and we kind of discovered all these things that they had. And we, we basically told them, you know, you know there is no limitation. You, you know, as long as you do, if you work hard, you know, the money will come. There's no body that's going to keep you out as long as you're willing to work hard. If they can see themselves sitting in a classroom, then they can believe that they should be in that classroom, that they, they actually can, uh, and they des deserve an opportunity to be in college. And it's the day-to-day -day mentoring, it's the day-to-day -day hard work, it's the day-to-day -day coaching, pa parenting, frankly, that helps give them more insight into not just what it means to be a, a student, but what it means to be a mature adult. A lot of the students that we have that we've come across, you know, they were either kicked out of their house or they were they left a situation that wasn't uh, ideal for them at the time. We we did the tour, and none of the the people whom we had hoped would kind of be be ready for college weren't. So uh, Gerald comes along, and uh, we decide, well, how do you we we hadn't mapped out how to get someone into college, but we just knew it was very possible to do. I was starting at FSCJ, and my GPA was a 3.75. And so we looked at Gerald's transcript, and, and one of the first things that we saw was that this young man had earned A's and B's in chemistry, trigonometry, some of the, the higher sciences and, and math courses, and we just felt very strongly that uh, he would be a fantastic st uh, college student. He'd already taken his SATs, and so with with all of the um, with all of the challenges that this young man had had, he still knew that he wanted to go to college. He just didn't know how to pull it off. So through their conversation, uh, after after their conversation ended, Cedric comes to my office and says, "How about we test this? How about we actually see if this can work? It's not just some idea about." you know, getting people to go to school um, and thinking that they can get in there with no hopes. And we were able to get Gerald admitted into FSCJ at their last term, uh, and he blew it away. I wanted to go to a university, but it was not, UNF wasn't for sure. I mean, am I happy I came here? Yes, I am. Like, as far as the friends, the amount of friends that I made here, yes. Like, as far as that, and my social network, I mean, have I had up and downs, but that's with everywhere you go. So, I mean, the fact that I'm here to UNF, I'm happy. Okay. It was a huge success for the program, a huge success for this young man, and we invited some other students who were in the center to come by. And one of them was, was Reggie. Uh, and Jackie Brown helped bring Reggie uh, in, into the program. So Reggie is just watching. Reggie had been enrolled at FSCJ. He had done very well, all things considered, as a homeless uh, youth, a, a homeless young adult. And he had, had dreams of getting into the university, but did not know how and did not have the support to help him. I got involved into the Insight program really because of Gerald. I was already a student at FSCJ, and one day in the man's dorms, I guess he sent me with my book bag, and he just took the initiative to ask me if I wanted to further my education, 
and he introduced me to Mr. Lewis, and that's how it started. So Reggie is watching this young man, uh, Gerald, go into the university, uh, and and we're, we're all cel celebrating the event. Reggie gets up and, and leaves. He just, excuse me, walks out of uh, out of the room, and. Jackie comes running in and says, Cedric, I need you to come out and talk with him. Well, Reggie is, is weeping. And just talking with him and asking, well, you know, what, what's going on? He just said that he believed us when we said that it could actually happen to him, too. And he saw himself at the university. It's, the inside program is, is great. Uh, Mr. Lewis, Mr. Stancliffe, two great guys two great mentors. Before Reggie left that campus, he said, I am going to be here in January of 2014. And he was. Um, this upcoming semester, I have epistemology, which I look forward to. So I think that might be my best or favorite class. What's, what does that mean? It's epistemology is a philosophy course. And it's basically the study of knowledge and reason. Honestly, I know it's very simple but you can have a career and be miserable. I just want to be happy in the future. I want to be me. That's what I really want. I want to be able to be myself in the future. That's where I see. That's actually my goal. And also lose weight and make really good grades. Gerald could actually see how important college was. So here was a student who did not go on the tour who could actually see what we were saying was, was the truth. He believed us, he trusted us, which I think, I think once we figured that, that this young man was actually trusting our advice, I think it, it made it that much more important that, that we were going to work that much harder. So we, we were able to present his uh, transcript to our friends at, um, uh, at UNF. They thought he would make a perfect, a perfect student. He met all of the requirements. And the one thing that Dr. Sawatka told us at the tour was if we could get them there, if we can make sure they qualify, then the university would help us and would pick up from there. And that's exactly what they did. Keep, keep faith, pray. He just has to know like every day won't be the same. Like it's still tough sometimes, but every day is not the same. Some days better than others. So you have something to look forward to. Just keep working. Keep working and just persevere. That's the main thing. Cause you're gonna get knocked down, but you have to get up, so.